In this segment, we will instruct how to avoid being accused of sexual abuse or molestation, how to prevent camper-on-camper -camper abuse, and how to report sexual abuse or molestation. Perhaps the greatest challenge to persons choosing to work with children and youth in Christian camping is when one suspects sexual abuse or child molestation or when one confides that they have been abused or molested. The following policies are primarily for the protection of campers. However, they also serve to protect adult counselors from false accusations of abuse. Two, counselor supervision. No adult will be allowed to be alone with a camper in an isolated place. In situations that require personal conferences, the meeting is to be conducted in view of other adults. No child or teenager is to sit in the lap of an adult. No adult is to allow a child or teenager to sit in his or her lap or lie in his or her bed. The only exception would be the parent of the child. No frontal hugs. An adult from time to time may sense the child's need for a hug in order to support or comfort the child. The adult must use a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder hug. Respect of privacy. Adults must respect the privacy of all campers in situations such as changing clothes or taking showers. An adult would only intrude to the extent that the health and or safety of the camper would be in question. Sleeping accommodations. Adults should sleep in an area where the highest level of supervision is possible and should not isolate themselves from general view. Appropriate attire. Adults will at all times dress modestly. Roughhousing or hazing is prohibited. An adult will not wrestle, tickle, or in any way engage a child or teenager in an activity where the adult's hands might come in contact with the camper inappropriately. Please note, all counselors must monitor each other, not to accuse, but to protect each other in case of an allegation. Campers assigned to a counselor should be accounted for at all times. Campers in sleeping areas. Campers will not be permitted to be in the sleeping area of any camper of the opposite sex. Camper visibility. No campers are allowed to be alone with another camper out of sight of an adult or other campers. Sleeping assignments. Campers are to sleep in his or her assigned bed. Campers are not to sleep together. Adult supervision. Adults are to supervise all activities of the camper, both organized and unorganized. Supervision during swim activities. Close supervision by adults during all swim activities is mandatory. Older campers. Older campers who tend to spend a great deal of time with younger campers should be encouraged to engage in activities with their own appropriate age group. Reporting by a camper. When a camper reports a situation that makes him or her uncomfortable, the counselor must take action to protect the camper. The adult who has witnessed or who becomes aware of any form of abuse of a camper must inform the youth camp license operator as soon as possible. Investigation of allegations. Counselors are not to investigate the allegations. Counselors are to report the information to the youth camp licensed operator as soon as possible. Reporting. The counselor is to submit to the youth camp licensed operator a written report of how he or she gained the knowledge of the allegation within 24 hours. State reporting. The youth camp licensed operator is to report by phone followed by fax to the Department of State Health Services, Environmental Health Group. If the abuse happens on the campus of the Texas Youth Camp, it must also be reported by the licensed youth camp operator to the Office of General Counsel Investigation Section. When a child or a teenager confides in you, assure him or her that you care, that you're listening, and will do whatever is necessary to be of help. It is not your role to question or determine the facts or to suggest that he or she was or was not abused. Let them know how much you admire the courage and confidence it took to share what has happened. This concludes the child protection training video. The purpose of you viewing this video is to provide safety and protection of our children, churches, and camps.